Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Today uh, I'm going to be fixing up this uh, Stanley ratchet that I picked up uh, with a bunch of other tools uh, somebody was getting rid of. And this ratchet here, it doesn't turn. It's really, really stiff. Uh, the, this end piece here, it's really stiff. It doesn't move. It doesn't turn. It's binding. These things are easily taken apart and uh, cleaned up. And a lot of times what it is is just water and dirt will get into here and it'll prevent them from functioning properly. And it's a quick and easy fix and it could save you a lot of money in the long run if every time your ratchet stops working or doesn't work as well. If you just throw it out and buy a new one, you're wasting your money. These are easy to fix. So uh, I'll show you how to go ahead and take that apart and fix it. And uh, we'll get on to the video. I picked up this uh, old Stanley uh, ratchet here with a bunch of other tools uh, in, a, in a lot. And this ratchet here, it doesn't really turn anymore. It's kind of seizing up all the time. And if ever you get ratchets that, that do this, don't throw them out. Take a few minutes, take them apart, clean them up, and you'll see most of the time it's just dirt or something that's gotten in there and caused them to not work anymore. So save yourself some money and spend a little bit of time and, and fix the, the tools. And at the same time, uh, perform a bit of maintenance on your tools and they'll last a lot longer. So this one here, it's got two uh, Torx. It's got two little Torx screws there we need to remove. Pull these out, set them aside so we don't lose them. After these uh, two screws here are out, we're just going to have this, uh, this plate here that has to be removed. We can just tap that out. So now we can see on the inside here, there's nothing too complicated. And if I try to turn this, we can kind of see what's going on here. It looks like it, it's binding up. This, this pin here that you see, this should be uh, retracting. This uh, silver pin should be pushing back inside this uh, plastic case here, allowing this to move in one direction but not the other. But when I try to turn it, you can see that it's, uh, it's binding up. It's not, it's not retracting in. So then what I'll do is uh, I'll move some paper towel here in the way so we don't get WD-40 everywhere. I'll take uh, a little bit of WD-40 and I'll see if just something as simple as just spraying some WD-40 in here will uh, help free that up and allow it to work. Because this thing here, you can see there's, there's rust in there. So you can see that uh, water's gotten in, dirt's gotten in. So it's, uh, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. That pin just fell out, but that's no big deal. It's kind of a good sign. It means that before it was binding. So I'll just make sure I'll push that back in. Then I'll drop this other piece into place. And uh, I think this ratchet will be good as new after that. There we go. So now you can see just a little bit of WD-40 in there. And you can see this pin is retracting like it's supposed to. It's not binding anymore. And if I switch to the other side, it's retracting like it's supposed to. And I could spend a little bit more time and really lube this up, but I think for, for, for what I use it for, that's plenty good. Work that WD-40 in there a bit. There we go. So it's as simple as that. Instead of just throwing out your tools, spend a bit of time, do a bit of maintenance, and uh, take a look. And you could save a lot of money and uh, use that money for other stuff, for maybe new tools. Pop that screw back in. And there you go. Good as new. There you go, done. So there you go. It's just as easy as that to, uh, to fix up your ratchet and save some money. 
and some frustration. So thanks a lot for stopping by again, watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my upcoming videos. So take care.